Our next task is to make an end boss. We have these little enemy guys. But they're not very scary, and so we want to we wanna scale them up. We want to blow them up and make big enemy guys that are much scarier and will serve as an end boss. That is our task. And guess how we're going to do it, guys? We're going to make scaling matrices. Scaling matrix. That's what we're going to make, a scaling matrix. A matrix that can scale things up and down. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's first do a quick review of what we did last time. If you'll remember, we had we made a matrix. This is a matrix. And it had three basis vectors in it. Uh, those, our forward basis vector, our up basis vector, and our right basis vector. I guess that spells out fur. That's funny. So we put them as columns in our matrix. And then we have a point, x, y, z, x, y, z. And when you multiply our matrix times our point, we get a new x, y, z prime. And what happens with this new one depends on what our basis vectors were that we put as columns in our matrix. So we transformed this x, y, z point using this matrix. And we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to start with the simplest matrix that you can get. Our basis vectors are going to be the, the most basic basis vectors that are possible. So this one right here, 1, 0, 0, that should be a 0, is x hat. It's pretty simple. I mean, you can't really get, it's just a vector that points down the x direction. And we're also going to do 0, 1, 0, that'll be y hat, a vector that points down the y direction. And of course, 0, 0, 1 is z hat, z hat. And let's see what happens when you build a matrix with these three vectors. Let's put x hat right here, x hat, OK? We're going to get 1, 0, 0. So we're just taking x hat, and we're making it a column in our matrix. Now let's do the same thing with y hat, 0, 1, 0. And with z hat, 0, 0, 1. So when we take these basic vectors and we make a matrix out of them, we actually get a special matrix. It even has a special name. It's called the identity matrix. Identity matrix. The identity matrix is special because it has this special property. If you take any matrix, I'm going to call this matrix A, okay, and you multiply it by the identity matrix, what do you get back? You just get A again. So it's kind of like saying 5 times 1 equals 5, like we learned in elementary school, right? Anything times 1 is equal to itself. It's the same thing with matrices. I is like 1 in that if you say any matrix, you multiply it by I, you just get that matrix back, the identity matrix. And we can start from the, we can use this as a starting point to build our scaling matrix. So let's do that. Uh, all we have to do is take one of these basis vectors and scale it in whatever manner that we want. So let's take x and let's scale it by 2. So we're going to get 2, 0, 0. We just multiply the the vector times 2, and we get 2 x hat. Okay, And then our other vectors are going to be the same. So you'll have 0, 1, 0, and that'll be y hat, and 0, 0, 1, and that's z hat. Okay, We're going to use the same two vectors here, but we're going to build a new matrix with 2 x hat. Okay, So let's see. We'll, we'll take 2 x hat, and we'll put it as a column here, 2 0, 0. And then we'll take y hat. We'll put it as a column here. That's still just 0, 1, 0. And then z hat. z hat is 0, 0, 1. OK. Now let's see what happens when we multiply a vector through this matrix. I'm going to use a very 
simple vector 111 because it's really easy to do this math with 111. So how do we do matrix multiplication? Now, I'm actually not going to cover that because Khan Academy does that way better than I could. So here is their video on matrix multiplication. And I really suggest you go and check it out and see how it works. But I can do this matrix multiplication in my head. It's pretty easy. It's just 2, 1, 1. So what happened here? My x component, my x basis vector, was multiplied by 2. And the x component of my resulting vector, this is x, this is y, and this is z, the x component of my resulting vector was also multiplied by 2. Great. OK, so what happens if I multiply my y hat vector times 4? I'm just going to make this into a 4. And this will be 4 y hat. 4 y hat. OK. Well, then, when I multiply this vector into the matrix, I get a 4 here instead. So my y component does whatever my y basis had. So I multiplied my y basis times 4 here, and my y component got multiplied times 4. That's all you got to do, folks, to make a scaling matrix. You pick basis vectors that are multiplied by whatever you want the scaling to be, and then you have a scaling matrix. So let's go to the code and see how that works. All right, now that I've had my lunch, it is time to do the code portion of this interview. And we're going to make a big boss guy. It's going to be awesome. Let's get to it. I'm going to make my x basis just like we did. Uh, let's see, 1, 0, 0, y basis, z basis. Same thing, but 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So these are our three standard basis vectors. We're going to make a matrix out of them. <clears throat> I'm doing this kind of over and over. I know I did it like five times by now, but I really want to drill this point home. We want to, we want to make, this is my boss matrix, and we want to make this a scaling matrix. So we're going to scale x basis, the x basis times 3. And we're going to scale the y basis times 3. And so we're passing these three scaled basis vectors into our matrix. And thusly, we will create a scaling matrix. It's really that easy. Pick your, sca pick your basis vectors, uh, scale them, and you'll get a scaling matrix. And so now this is where we create target three, our, our third target. And this is the guy that we want to make into a boss. So we're going to scale him. So how do we do that? We go boss matrix times the vector. So we multiply the vector with our matrix. The matrix times the vector. And that will get us a scaled version of the vector that we assign to the, uh, the bounding box of our, of our enemy. So we'll do that for the min and max values. And geez, that was easy. That's it. That's all we have to do. It was so simple. Let's see it in action. Ah! This guy is huge. So that's it. Uh, join me next time when hopefully I'll be better fed. And we'll continue with learning how to use matrices to do all these really cool things. See ya.